case. That's why she got canceled. Gay people don't take it kindly that you would, as a derogatory, call me gay. Gay people don't feel like it's derogatory. So why are you trying to shame me with something in a community I don't even belong in? There's no gay people saying I belong over there or been over there. You did, did but I have no hatred of over there, and how dare you? You did a number on it, though. Hey. You did a number on it. That, no, that's legendary. No, no. You either believe in karma or you don't. What's up guys, it is your boy once again And I'm back with some more foolery Okay, we're going to jump right into this Cat Williams Everybody know about the, the interview with Shannon Sharp But before all that happened Cat was on a radio station V103 Down in Atlanta And uh, some stuff went down And the radio host ended up getting fired because of it uh, that radio host is Wanda Smith. He mentioned her in the uh, interview with Shannon Sharp. No, I'm sorry. Was it Shannon Sharp? Yeah, Shannon Sharp. He interviews with that. Now, the thing is, that happened. But what this is about is how she tried to blame her partner in the office for not stopping it. Now, that's a little rich. You know what I'm saying? You, the comedian, I don't know why you're trying to challenge Cat, but you the comedian and you kind of kind of messed up and he got you, but you come back and try to blame your co-host in the in the studio because he didn't stop it. So that's where we at with this, guys. And I want y'all to hear this. Um, I'm gonna try to let it run a little bit before I say something. It's one little part I'm gonna say. And then we'll let it run some more. But just check this thing out. And before we hit it, y'all know what to do. Hit that subscribe. Hit that like, share, and that notification bell so you can get the next videos. And hit that all on the notifications. So that will bring up all the videos and you will get them. You'll get the notification on all the videos. So with that being said, let's jump right into this. Let's go. Music this morning and have a conversation. Um, because obviously... Uh, there's an elephant in the room, right. and it is that over the weekend, uh, some things went viral online, mm -hmm. um, and, uh, you know, I guess people would expect us always to be transparent Absolutely. about things that happen to us Absolutely. and to talk about it. Mm -hmm. So um, I think, you know, it's time that we, <laughs> Wanda and I got together and decided time that we talk about it. Right. So, um Wanda, I want you to, to lead this conversation okay. because I, I truly want you to give your words right. um, and how you feel, how everything happened, uh, both Friday mm -hmm. and throughout the weekend, leading mm -hmm. us to this point now. In case you don't know, I, I'll rewind and recap everybody that mm -hmm. doesn't know. Okay. Um, on Friday, we had an interview with comedian Red Grant. And up until Friday morning, that was the plan. Comedian Red Grant would come in right. and do an interview promoting his appearance at the Atlanta Comedy Theater with Wanda um, over the weekend, but with Wanda specifically on Saturday. Right before Red Grant came into our studio, we got the call that um, Cat Williams mm -hmm. was coming with him. Right. Cat Williams was not supposed to be interviewed. Right. You know, we, he, he didn't come for the interview. The interview was with Red Grant. Mm -hmm. But Wanda and I wanted to try to get Cat Williams to come on the air so that everybody knows he was very reluctant at first right. to come on the air. Right. Wanda had gone out to talk to him first to invite him on the air. He was like, no, I'm not going to come on the air. Mm -hmm. I tried to get him to at least come inside the studio. Cat Williams didn't want to come in the studio. Um, but eventually he kind of relaxed, warmed up, mm -hmm. and after some coaxing, he came in the studio <laughs> and sat down. Okay, so keep that little part in mind that he was reluctant about coming on a radio station and it wasn't planned. All right, so just keep that in mind and we're going to come back to that. During the conversation, um, I was able to direct a question to Cat Williams, which he answered. His answers started what became viral and him talking about 
the comedy industry, how you get a deal, how you do stand up, mm -hmm. and his entrepreneurial spirit about doing comedy. And he really talked some really good information about him owning all of his rights to all of his stand up right, right. and how he is the most successful stand up comedian. He has more stand up comedy specials than anybody else. Mm -hmm. And he began to talk about that. Mm -hmm. um, and when I say stand up comedy specials, I mean the specials that are filmed mm -hmm. and later become available on video or on TV. Right. Um, it was then that we started, he started getting loose and we had some offline, off the air conversations with Kat and he decided to stay for the second part. Mm -hmm. And he started getting relaxed and some of that conversation went left. So we want to really start, um, we want to really start, I guess, Wanda, in, in the beginning mm -hmm. when Kat began to talk negatively about people such as Tiffany Haddish and Kevin Hart. That piece really was the first thing that went viral. Um, right now on our YouTube page, it has 1.7 million views. 1.7 million. Mm -hmm. That's just on our page. Mm -hmm. I saw other blog sites that were two and three million mm -hmm. views. Right. So collectively, this thing is pushing around right. 10 million, if not more, views. In the beginning, that's what happened. Right. You can pick it up. Okay, so to be honest with you, um, when I found out Cat Williams was coming, I got excited. Okay? I you know, I know many people think, well, you know who Cat Williams is, you know, Cat Williams and I have never officially really met. Like, we don't know each other, like, as in friend, comics. We've never worked on a tour together. We've never worked together. Mm -hmm. So this was really a big deal for me to have him come in. So when they told me he was in the green room, I, you said to me, wanted to go in the back and see if you can get him to come on because he had told our producers that he wasn't going to come on. So I went to the back in the green room and I was like, hey, everybody, which I always do. And I said, um, good morning. And then he goes, I'm not coming on the show. I, I wasn't booked to come on the show. And I said, it's okay if you want to come on. Like, come on. So I was teasing with him about coming on. And so then, um, you know, he kept saying no. I said, but why? I said, come on. I've never been on air with you. I said, so come on. Here's a great opportunity. Remember on the radio, you went on the radio interview. Right. And you came on there with seemingly good intentions. Oh, and yeah. she attacked you. It wasn't just that part. It was the fact that before I go in there, she has a conversation about, okay, now, I just want to talk to you because you just won an Emmy for the city of Atlanta, and this is in Atlanta, and they just want to hear about the Emmy and hear from you and to thank you for what you did putting the city on. Right. <laughs> and we won't talk about your kids. We won't talk about jail, no cases. We ain't going to talk about none of that. Right. And immediately gets in there and goes the opposite way. You can't flip up on me because you're an inferior comedian. So Red Grant, myself, and Gary started to walk towards the studio. And when we got in here, um, you know, he still was saying no. He was outside the studio. So I started playing little clips like, come on in, you know, come on in, making him feel good about coming in. I'm excited that he's coming in. So, you know, once he got in, I, you know, I was excited to really have him in this studio, to be honest with you. And I felt like as he started to talk in the beginning, he had an agenda, like, to attack me. And I kept feeling some type of way, and I'm like... Did you feel the tension in the yes. room before he even started talking? I felt the tension. I did. And then I, I said, okay, where is this going? So honestly, because of the respect that I have for him, like I feel like he's one of the comics that has made it. And so I'm excited. I called my boss and said, Reggie, I never asked Reggie to drop music. I said, Cat Williams is coming. Can we drop music? And Reggie said, yes. He said, yes. Oh, backtrack a little bit. Remember when she said, when the guy said he hadn't planned on coming on the show, he wasn't booked to be on the show, she had to, like, pretty much keep on, keep nagging him, basically, to get on there, and he decided to get on the show, all right? Now she's trying to say it seemed like he had an agenda when he came on there. So how did a man have an agenda when he wasn't even supposed to be on the show? You see what I'm saying? Like, it's not making sense. And then he said he stayed for the second half. So if he was, if you was getting some type of vibes, like, oh, he trying to be nasty to you, didn't want to be here. 
why you just didn't say, okay, thank you for coming and just cut it off right there. Because you want to use that opportunity to rise up. That's what you was planning on doing. That's why you wanted them there. So let's just be real. All right, let's go. I'm gonna drop music to give that him that much time to just have fun with them. So we dropped the music and I just felt the tension like, you know, every time I would ask him something or say something, it was like he kind of came for me. I'm never gonna call you out of your name. I'm never gonna say anything disrespectful to people that look like you. I'm, I'm, it's a very thin line I gotta call, but this lady is trying to embarrass me in front of a largely homosexual fan base. And I'm not that kind of comedian. Like, I don't go tit for tat. I don't, you know, that's not what I do. It's the People Station Builder 3. Your hair is kind of... My hair is 19 inches long and I have no perm. You don't? Oops. Oh, that's not a perm. No, it is not. Nice lady. That's run, natural. Come run, come run one of your gnarled fingers. Why you on air? Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. So they can hear you lie. Come on, come on, Let me come over here. No, no, no. That's not how that works. Oh, okay. Well then stay over there. Don't worry, ain't nobody putting their hands through yours. That's right. They don't have to. Get on out of here. You okay? You okay? You okay? Only one of our you hands moving while we talk. Nick Cannon asked me to go to Wild and Out. I'm like, dude, that that's not that's not my thing. I mean, so just because of the respect that I have for him, when he started coming at me, it kind of threw me off. So I didn't know how to retaliate or how to come back because that's not how I wanted to talk to him. I didn't want to talk to him like that. I didn't want to go back and forth with him, but because of the respect. So when it kept going on and on and on, as a person that has integrity, I had to say something back. And I didn't want to because my focus, Frank, in, in Atlanta was because God had just blessed me with this, this folder right here to go to the Nicholas house when I got off air was to go help these homeless women. So my mind wasn't on being disrespectful and, and in a bad place. I just wasn't in a bad place. Mm -hmm. So I did not want to go back and forth with Cat Williams like that. That bothered me so bad. That really bothered bothered me so that's why I never said people like why you didn't go back why didn't, because I know my mouth I could have said some really ugly foul things but I didn't want to talk to him like that I did not it was a respect thing so you know I you know I've done a lot of things in my life I'm not perfect a mistake spread it so fast I help people here in Atlanta all the time from helping the homeless people to helping kids get school clothes you know, to helping mom, single moms get things for their kids, you know, keeping kids in school. And none of that stuff ever went viral. The minute me and a brother get into something, it, 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 it's, it's, it's huge. It was so hurtful. See, the thing is, she's, she's going straight into something else. She's talking about the situation with Kat and a situation that happened that weekend when it was at the club, the comedy house or whatever it is. And so people online came after her for what her husband did when he ran to Ket after this. So that's why she's trying to pull up all this paperwork and tell me all the stuff she done. If you look, she was, if you go back, you will see that she looked down, she was reading. She done wrote down all the, the good stuff I've done in the community because her job is on the line. That's why she, that's what all this is about. And yeah, you went viral, but not for this only. You went viral for what happened at that club. And we're going to get there a little later. So just hang around, people. The People Station, V103, the ATL's number one for hip-hop and R&B. Frank and Wanda in the morning on V103. Wanda Smith giving comment about yeah. what happened Friday with Cat Williams. Let's take just a few calls. Frank and Wanda in the morning on the People Station, V103. Hello. I just wanted to make a comment to Wanda. Sweetheart, you should not feel bad because I'm sure Cat Williams pissed me off and everybody else. He came up there. It just seemed like he came up there to attack you. He didn't say anything to Red. He didn't say anything to Frank. And personally, I thought it was distasteful. I thought it was very disrespectful. You have absolutely no reason to feel bad because everybody sees him in the, in, in the news. And we already know he's an idiot. And having money don't make you smart. So you should not feel bad because he was just wrong all the way.
You did nothing to him. And clearly, he was just there, and he was upset. He kept saying, Wanda, what do you cook? Wanda, what do you do? He didn't ask Frank, who is a man. He, <laughs> they were saying because he has kids and he's a single father, they're asking him what he cooks. But he didn't ask anyone else. He just asked you. Well, the reason he was corresponding to her is because she asked the question. And so he turned around and asked her after he answered the question. And then she, he fried the crap out of her. But I don't know what this woman talking about. It sounds like she might be a friend of Wanda's that called in. That's what that's like. She might, so my friends call in and defend me, you know. So to be able to protect a squad of black children's privacy mm -hmm. for 19 uh, years has been a blessing. That's dope. You cook? Do you cook for your kids? Absolutely. Tell me some of the things you cook that they're proud of. Like, Dad made some. You got the best spaghetti. You got Excuse the best me. steak. Excuse what do you have? <laughs> I, 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 I love what you I, as a father of seven with an unlimited food budget, you can make... Uh, whatever is necessary. I said seven, what they like. Excuse me. Excuse uh, excuse me. me. I said answering. what are they like? Did you Just think? because you're a poor interviewer doesn't mean <laughs> whatever is necessary. I said seven, what they like. Excuse me. Excuse, uh, excuse me. me. I said answering. what are they like? like. Excuse me. Excuse, uh, excuse me. me. I said answering. what are they like? Did you Just think? because you're a poor interviewer doesn't mean. <laughs> You answer the question and just tell Man, me. Man, you're what a they strong like. black woman. <laughs> Is answer it okay for question. me to answer? Come on. You keep interrupting the answer. Oh Everyone can hear it. It sounds like you like me a little bit. It's starting to bleed over the airway. <laughs> it is. Oh, really? I want to let everybody on. know that Wanda got some lipstick on right now with enough glitter for the 4th of July. <laughs> That's right. Kissable lips. So, okay, so what do you cook, Kat? All right, so. The thing is, with seven, you become a good cook just because you got too many different opinions. Like four of these is daughters, so I got a daughter that <laughs> that only eats vegetables, mm. and then I got a daughter that only eat meat, mm. and I got a daughter that doesn't do dairy. Mm. Wow, I, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, so, yeah. <laughs> so you're 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 cooking. You're cooking for whoever is four out of five, right? Yeah. And then you're making the adjustments from there. So you might make lasagna, but you understand that only four or five people out of eight are, going, have lasagna. are going lasagna. So then you have to do a vegetarian lasagna just so that you can cut the difference. Mm. And then because these are Negro children, you make <laughs> chicken wings and make one dozen of those. So you got a regular lasagna, a vegetarian lasagna, and 12 wings. <laughs> and then you fill it out with salad and bread and then... Adult, adult here gets that glass of port reserve from there Chateau you go. Alain. Chateau Alain, and the baby. young children get that sweet tea from Publix, and there's a meal with a budget of about sixty-four dollars that'll feed seven people. All right, all right. I love it. The hood <laughs> education from Cat Williams. Okay. All right, Red Grant. How many kids you got, one? I have three. Okay, so now you see how people are trying to come on in and save her and whatever. And um, you see, he just got to the question of asking her after all that. And she kept cutting him off and all this while he was trying to explain. But she ended up getting her frying her because when he asked her what she cooks, she said she makes a mean broccoli. And he just fried her up from there. All right, Red Grant. <laughs> How many kids you got, one? I have three boys. Excellent. Yes, I do. Aren't boys simple? Mm -hmm. Are boys simple? Um, they can be. They can be. Yeah. Why did no she? I'm what? She didn't do as much cooking in the latter years as she uh, did in the beginning. Oh, uh, whatever. I cook. I do it all. I didn't say that she did. Well, didn't. that's right. I did it in the beginning and the middle and the end. What's your favorite wait, wait, thing to wait, cook? Wait, wait, your boys. Um, so, yeah. They like for me to I do a really nice broccoli. They like my broccoli and they love my baked chicken. Hey, and hey, right broccoli. now, look up your phone and see what it takes to make broccoli. And, <laughs> hey, he doesn't say uh, heat up water. Uh, uh, That's the only step in broccoli. Uh, simmer, uh, water, whatever, simmer. Have you ever uh, heard of burned uh, broccoli? Uh, Can you burn hater, broccoli? Whatever. You can't burn it because it's made in a pot of water. You don't, you don't know nothing about <laughs> You know what her second meal they love from her? What I do with corn. Oh, I like to dig it out that can what? and I put it in there. And then I get a can of water and I put it on there. And then I get some salad rants. They don't expect that. I sprinkle uh, I am a great cook. Aw, 
Whatever. Yes, ma'am. You got to heat the stuff up. Uh, you're <laughs> so, you know, it was just a lot from that. When he got her from there, it was it was over with after that. So, but, you know, you'll see that she got mad at her partner because she said he she felt he should have stopped it. So we'll get to it. It's almost there. We'll get it. It was just hurtful. I, I promise y'all. Like, that was my first time meeting Cat Williams. Like, we've never talked. We've never had a show together. This is my, I was excited. Again, I asked Reggie, can I drop music? He's coming. To understand that, you know, with prosperity comes prosecution. I get that. But I wanted to, to be in a peaceful place. And that's why I wasn't. And it was like, oh, Wanda, he did. He said this. Why didn't you come back? I didn't want to talk to him like that. That would be like Denzel Washington coming in here and I disrespect. I, I got that much respect for Cat Williams. You, Williams, you made it. I'm, I'm happy you got all of that. But I'm just not a person to down other people. I, I wanted to praise Tiffany Haddish because of her success. Yeah, it may have been short-lived. A lot of us didn't know who she was. I watched them. I went back to the movie theater three times. That's how much I enjoyed that film. Bringing women together, you know what I mean? Like it made that made me happy to see her move forward. I am happy for Ke for for uh, uh, Kevin Hart. I'm happy for them. I, I'm not jealous and I'm not mad about nobody's moving up the climbing up the ladder. I'm happy for anybody that's doing well, even Cat Williams. I'm proud that he could sell out the Phillips Arena. You a black man doing great things. I'm happy for you. Matter of fact, Lamar and I went to his last show, the last show he just had here. So I had no ill will. I, I, I don't know why that went to the left. And I promise you, I just felt like, you know, uh, I spoke with the spiritual lady on Thursday and she said, you're getting ready to do so many big things, Wanda. And I had just gotten this deal. My, uh, my boss, I was having a hard time trying to get into these homeless shelters to help these women. And as soon as I got the go on, you got it. This place called the Nicholas House want to give you all, you can do whatever you want to do. She called me and said, you get ready for spiritual warfare. You get ready because you're, mm -hmm. you're climbing up the ladder. You're getting ready to do God's work. It's going to be, hate is going to be coming from so many places. I never expected to come right here. This is, this is my job. This is where I work. I get on this radio every morning to talk to people, to get to jobs that they don't like. I talk to people to help them with their kids. I do things for people. I'm, I didn't want to go back and forth with this man like that. That wasn't, that's not cool. How did you feel when you started seeing all the stuff online? You know, I'm, I'm like this, Frank. I am, and I hate to say it like this, but I'm from Miami, Florida. My heart is different. I'm a, I'm a person that I've seen so many bad things in my life. It, it, it didn't bother me. Like it, it, it doesn't faze me that you feel that way about me because my father taught me how to be strong. You have integrity. You have pride. You gotta be pride. You gotta be prideful. And I also thought about how they, how they did Jesus Christ. They threw stones. They, they spit on him. They did all of those things. But he never stopped caring for us. And that's that's how I am. I don't. I, I'm not hurt. I'm not mad at y'all because you're upset at what took place. My family, since I've been on this radio for 25 years, you've never heard my family or me do nothing bad to nobody, to no one. Okay, so what she's talking about, all this stuff online, is part of this was that interview, the radio interview, but what happened the night after at the club. Her husband goes after Cat. And he had a piece on him. And it blew up. You know, a whole lot of police got involved in all this. And that's what this statement says right here. And um, Kat didn't file charges, but it got out what happened. And so that's why she's talking about all this stuff online. And she's a good person. Our family never done anything. But you did something this time. I mean... And I just felt like, gosh, I never had this feeling on this radio station. Like, I never had that feeling. I, I just wanted peace. I wanted not to sit here and go back and forth with Cat Williams. I did not. That didn't make me feel good. Because I knew when I got off the air, I had to go to Nicholas' house to go speak with these women. And after all of that, I got in the car and I still went over there. And I still spoke to those women. They had no idea what I just went through. And it didn't even, I didn't even think about all of that. So just looking at all the stuff online, not, you know, I've been getting hits from hometown people I hadn't talked to in years. And I'm like, wow, this is amazing to me how something so negative 
to be so big and, and, and as a people i'm like really y'all okay is the hate really that strong for me so if i if i hurt anyone as far as my listeners or you you know i made you feel some type of way i have no problem with apologizing because that's who i am i have no problem with that but i did not expect to sit here and go back and forth with with, with a legend such as cat williams i i did not okay so what she's talking about this apology that is um from what i saw that she made a lot of comments to cat trying to insinuate that he was feminine she made a lot of them made little you know these little joke jokey jokes and from my understanding the gay community wasn't feeling that so i think a lot of that emails and stuff and she got was from the, the gay community because you know atlanta is a large gay community down there so I think that's what she's apologizing, who she's apologizing to. And it I think it probably costed her a job. I really do. So if it didn't, the husband definitely helped. I'm I'm just sorry that it ended this way. Do you, I really do, you, am. do you think that Cat Williams going back and forth was in fun or do you think he did it on purpose? I was looking in his eyes and it was like an attack. I I, I don't even know what that was. Like, what did I do to you? Did I say something about you? Did I, I, I don't know. I just, when I was looking at him, I couldn't even respond because my mouth is can go there. I got a little mouth on me, but the respect wouldn't let me do that. It wouldn't even let, I couldn't, I, I don't, I, I didn't know. And, I, and the things that I was saying, you know, they were, oh, they were weak. Yeah, because I didn't want to do it. I didn't. It's V103, Frank and Wanda in the morning. We are discussing the incidents that went viral on Friday with Wanda Smith and Cat Williams and Frank Ski and our show. And just it just, it went more viral than we expected. We knew it was going to be good. And a lot of people were um, obviously pointing to what he said about Tiffany Haddish and Kevin Hart. Right. And I think a lot of people with the Tiffany Haddish and Kevin Hart comments, although they were harsh, I think people kind of was like, that's Cat Williams. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? He said messed up stuff about other people before. So it was big, but it kind of wasn't big. Mm -hmm. But when you all went back and forth, it, that became it, the right, piece right. that made it big. Let's mm -hmm. take a call. You're on V103. Frank and Wanda, hello. Hi, Frank. Um, I need to make this comment. Mm -hmm. In my opinion, Wanda's playing victim. Okay. We were either listening Friday morning mm -hmm. or since then have seen the video. Mm -hmm. Wanda started that whole negative exchange when she came for his hair, his clothes. Wanda is always clowning people for fun in the name of comedy. Mm -hmm. Cat Williams clowned her mm -hmm. in the name of fun, right. in the name of comedy. Mm -hmm. um, it's, it's like you can give it, but you can't take it. You know, Cat Williams did what Cat Williams does, mm -hmm. and he clowned her. And I you was know, okay and, with that. I wasn't upset, you know, that he that he clowned, which I said I, that that's not my thing. I don't go back and forth, you know, kind of like the um, the wilding out thing. I don't know how to do that, yeah. the joning and that kind of thing. And and I think you know, and let me if I could go back with you just a little bit. W remember, it all started when we started talking about the food part. And he said, what do you cook? And I said, he was, he, he said, no, it started when I said, um, you know, do you cook for your boys? That. It started mm -hmm. with the hair. When you guys went back and forth about with the hair, to me, it looked like two comedians. Right. And he was talking about my wig. And right. Remember, we both did it. Right. You <laughs> right. both did it. And it was two comedians mm -hmm. engaged in comedic banter. Right. right. But from, from looking at it on air, mm -hmm. your demeanor changed and okay. it looked like you took it personal and got it ma and got mad okay. it shouldn't have gone as far okay. as it did but to me it was funny okay but i got you and i received that i received gun that violence or even the threat of gun violence that is so petty and so unnecessary we've got thank to do better you. thank you right and um so you know i know a lot <laughs> of people were it was just so many comments you know um and you know People like, well, how did you feel about, you know, Frank sitting there? You know, a lot of comments were having and, you know, I was sitting here. And honestly, to be honest with you, Frank, like, I, it didn't, it caught me totally off guard. And after it went on for a while, I did want it to end laughing. And, you know, I was sitting here. And honestly, to be honest with you, Frank, like, I, it didn't, 
it caught me totally off guard. And after it went on for a while, I did want it to end. And I know you're the person who would cut things off. All right, man, it's time to go. It's time. And that never happened. That we, did happen. We, we, what you said, yeah, you I, did say. I tried to go to break like three times. Right. And y'all kept going. Right. So, so, okay, we played the bumper. When we played the bumper, that's when we kept going over, you know, over the bumper. And I agree. I put my part in. I did my part. I'm not, I'm not saying that I didn't. I'm not playing the victim. I'm not. And see, this is where she went wrong. Just like that caller said. You can dish it out, but you can't take it. That's why you don't do the dozen. And that's why you didn't go on wild and out. You like to throw it out and talk about other people, but you don't want nobody to come at you hard. And then you're going to come at your partner and say he should have stopped it? Really? And this is what y'all do? But now it's on you. He should have stopped it. Come on. I was expecting... All right, y'all, enough of that, you know, because both of us were like kids. It didn't end. And I was expecting you to, as the man of the house, to stand up and, and stop the kids from playing, and it, did, and it never happened. I think because, mm -hmm. you know, honestly, truly, what happened with you and Kat is not new. Right. You and Sophia have done it. Other people have done it. Mm -hmm. We've had that conversation. We've gone past the bumper. We've done that before. Mm -hmm. When we're sitting in the heat of the moment and what's going on in the studio. And it was funny going back and forth. That's why I kept going. I, you know, I tried to go to break a couple times. Mm -hmm. And in those exchanges, I think sometimes you would, you would stop and then you'd say something real quick mm -hmm. and then he'd come back. Mm -hmm. And then we'd stop and then mm -hmm. you say something real quick and come back. And that's why right. it didn't happen. Because to me, honestly, truly, you know, I'm not the comedian. <laughs> And see, what he's talking about, what she was doing was every time he would say, well, let's cut to break, she would throw a jab at Kat and hoping that it would cut off. And when she got her jab in, but Kat was so quick coming back, they didn't turn it off. And he went right in on her. And then when dude tried to cut it off again, she would do it again and Kat jumped right on her. So that's what he's talking about. Like she was trying to throw jabs right before the breaks. So they can come back and they'll be over with. But Kat would catch her like so quick that they just let it run because it's material. And she know how that works. And he, she just got got. She should have just took it off. I'm not going to get on this radio and take the role as the comedian. That's not my job. But when I see two comedians going at it, that's the way I looked at it. It was funny. It was two comedians going back and forth. Yes, Kat got the best of it. Mm -hmm. But there have been times where you've gotten the best of it. Yeah, and and, I, don't, and I, don't cut other, I, I don't right. cut you off and I don't cut other right, people off. Right. So I'm not about to be on the radio and be fake. Like, okay, we just going to cut it off because, you know, I, I just didn't feel that way. I thought that's what you wanted. And I think that in the end, when we had a chance to look at it afterwards, then people are making those comments like, why didn't, why didn't and, you stop and it? I, 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 and I think it's people playing Monday morning quarterback. Because right. in the heat of the moment, that's not what we do. Well, I'll... Understand this. I, as a person that is not a comedian, did not look at it as being disrespectful. I looked at it like mm -hmm. two comedians right. playing the Joneses. Mm -hmm. Somebody's going to lose. And it just so happened on that day, right. you lost. Right. So and I'm that, not, not going to sit here and say, mm -hmm. oh, well, you know, like... I. I've, I've sat here and watched other people and I felt sorry for other people and the things we've done to other people. Right. We, we've dogged out people on this show before. We've made people look stupid before. Okay. We've hurt people's feelings before. Right, and you so, gotta be able to take it with, when somebody do it to you. So, but I didn't feel I like, that. I didn't mm -hmm. feel in the moment mm -hmm. that you were hurt. hurt. Point. Yeah. So I didn't, point. I didn't know any better. But So now that it went, it went, do you felt like you should have stopped it or do you feel like now that it's out there I, a negative thing. I, I feel, first of all, I don't appreciate people keep saying you should have stopped it. Right. Thank you. Because we both have the responsibility to stop it. Thanks. You have just as much responsibility to mm -hmm. say to go to break than I do. Uh -huh. You could have looked at the producer and said, okay, cut it. And he would have cut it. But you didn't do that. Y'all kept going back and forth. So you got just as much power as I do. So I don't want people to listen to the show thinking that I got this magic button that I push. That's not the way this thing works. It. I didn't know. I'm watching two comedians going back and forth. That's what we did. And it was funny. And it was funny. 
And I think that had it gone the other way, we right. wouldn't be having this conversation right, right. now. Right. Had you won right. over Cat Williams, Thank we you. wouldn't mm -hmm. be sitting here having the conversation. So it's unfair mm -hmm. to say I should have stopped it just because you lost. Thank That's you. unfair. Yeah. And I'm, 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 I'm not. And I, 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 I but, but let me just say this. Let me just that. say this. Mm -hmm. I never want to hurt your feelings. You are my partner, and I love you. So I never want to hurt your feelings. Right. So the fact that it happened and hurt your feelings, I feel bad for. But you're like, your husband shouldn't have picked up the phone and called me. Right. That was wrong. This is right. business. Your husband ain't got nothing to do with V103 That's right. or to pick up the phone to call me. That'd be right. like my wife calling you because you said something about me. Right. That's inappropriate. So I was hurt by that. You know, I thought mm -hmm. we, I thought like, but I understood, but I understood mm -hmm. because looking online and seeing everything that happened online was hurtful. Um, we're going we're gonna to take a quick break because there's okay. other calls that people want to talk about. Right. Um, and then we'll talk about, um, if you want, I do. what happened I, afterwards. I, I do. I just want to clear a few things up okay. about what happened at the comedy club so, so that we're clear. It's Frank and Wanda in the morning discussing the uh, viral situation with Cat Williams that happened over the weekend. From, man, Wanda, from Friday to, to Monday morning, it's been going crazy. Um, but many people want to know what happened on Saturday with okay. the reports that are right. coming out and including the report that came out right. on SandraRose.com. Okay, so Saturday night, you know, which I always perform at Atlanta Comedy Theater, um, Red Grant was a headliner. So, you know, I got to the comedy club to do what I do every single Saturday. So when I got there, um, I have I always have a guest list. So I had a guest list with a couple of people who were supposed to come. My makeup artist had some people that were supposed to come. So what happened was they asked, um, they were like, Wanda, you got guests? I said, yeah. So I brought the, the comedian on, and I went back in the green room. So one of the guys came and said, hey, Wanda, you got guests at the back door. So I left the green room, and I went to the door, the back door, where we normally let our guests in. So... When I um, op when they opened the door, I'm looking. I didn't see them. I saw two of the people, but I was looking for the rest of them. So I walked outside the door, and when I walked outside of the door, um, I saw Cat Williams and his bodyguard walking up towards the comedy club. And so he saw me, and he made a beeline to where I was, came over, and was like, "I told you, effing with me, gonna make you go viral." And that's when my husband said. So he Man, stepped to you. Yes, he came. Oh, he was walking and walked over from where he was in the street in front of the grocery store, walking down. He t made a beeline turn to come over where I was and said, I told you, effing with me would make you go viral. Mm -hmm. And that's what my husband said. Hey, dog, man, find something else to do, dog. He was like, I jump on you. And then it, you know. Mm. So the police was there. The police is always there. Security is always there all the time. The police is always there. Always. So all the rumors that are out there, um, you know, I just, I can't move forward. Yeah, we, we can't address yeah. any more legally because of that. Yeah. As you can see, he didn't beeline over to her. He was walking up with his manager and just so happened who was outside the door waiting. Her husband and son. So some words where it's changed. But when he walked up, that's when she was coming up to the door. Now, he may have seen her in there. I don't know. And then he said something. But. You know they was waiting on him. You know what time it was. Your guy wasn't there security. Your husband wasn't security or anything. Because if he was, you would have said so. He was waiting for him to come up. And see, and that's the thing. You messed up. Your boy, y'all, you know, you said some stuff. Your husband called up and said some words to your, your co-host. And then... He came after the megastar. And that's why she probably got let go. And she lost everything from over this. Because she got in her feelings. And that's why I say, people, we got to learn to stop getting in our feelings. And this thing of you ladies getting upset and sending your husbands and brothers and male cousins to go after people. And ruining their lives and your life. When you could have just let it go. All right, guys, I got to get up out of here. Hope y'all enjoyed it. Make sure you hit that subscribe, like, share, and don't forget to hit that notification and click all to make sure you catch all the videos coming up in the future. And it is your boy, once again, Mr. Nobody. <laughs>